negative log, there is no need to put the base 10. We omit the base when the log is base has base 10. H equals P. So they want us to write an equivalent exponential equation. Perfect. So first of all, when we wrote this conversion between a log and an exponential, notice that this has to be plus in front. Okay? I have minus, but no problem. Whatever this is in front, it can go back where it came from. It came back, it came from the power of h. So this is basically log h to power negative 1 equals p. And now this is equivalent to base raised to this power equals this number. Since we omit the base on base 10, then I know it's 10. So 10 raised to power p equals h to negative 1. You can rewrite this as, as 1 over h. It doesn't matter. They are only asking us to change it into an exponential equation. That's all. Any questions on this one? OK, so let's take a look. Anything else? Number three. So we have in number three the same question. Log base 27 of 3 equals 1 third. Perfect. Same thing. This is already prepared. This one needed some, some prep. But this one did not or does not. How do I write this? Twenty-seven to the one-third power equals three. Good. Is it true? Of course, because this is the cube root of twenty-seven, which is indeed three. Thank you. Good. So let's take a look. Maybe um, solve. Let's choose one from solving. Can we do 11? Yes. So let's do 11. That is log base x of 32 equals 5. Perfect. OK, the same thing. I don't know how to solve this, but I know it's equivalent to an exponential equation. And how do I write it? We always start with the base, and we go counterclockwise. So x to the fifth power equals 32. And now I can think. Is there a number I know that I raise to the fifth power and get 32? Or better, x to the fifth, I know that 32 is 2 to the fifth. How can these be equal in only one situation when x equals two. exactly 2? when x equals 2. If I get something like x equals 1, or x equals negative 3, or x equals 0, I know it's not possible, because this is the base. So the base could be only a number either greater than 1, or a number between 0, oh, between zero and 1. But I got 2, which is fine. So you can never have a negative base? And never, never. So although, although I can raise negative 3 to the 4th power, I can raise 0 to the 4th power, I can raise 1 to the 10th power, all these cannot be as the base of an exponential function. Why? Because when I define the inverse function as log base a of x, I will not be able to define it if the base is negative 0 or 1. So these are possible, but not in an exponential function.
the exponential function has the base either greater than 1 or between 0 and 1, so that this one works, the inverse function. Good? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, anything else we want to before we look at differentiation and applications? Seventy six. Seventy six. Let's see where is it. Very good. Okay, here it is. So we have y equals natural log applied to x to the fourth divided by two. I would like to illustrate this one in two different ways. One way will be to break this up because I know a rule. We have a rule that if log is applied to a quotient is log of the top minus log of the denominator. So y equals natural log x to the fourth minus natural log two. Also we have another property that allows us to put the power in front as a factor. So then y equals four natural log x minus natural log two. When I differentiate, I have four. I differentiate natural log, which we know now is what? One over x. Very good. And when I differentiate a constant, no matter how fancy the constant looks like, what do I get? Zero. That's it. So the answer is 4 over x. Okay, number two. Second possibility. Let's say I don't remember those rules. Then I will differentiate as natural log of a function which is 1 over the function times the function prime. Okay, so y prime will be 1 over all this times the inner function prime. Bring 4 down, subtract 1 from the power, divided by 2. Whatever I do, I have to get the same thing, no matter what. So, when I divide 1 by a fraction, I have to flip the fraction. Here I will simplify, so I have times 2x cubed. I'll simplify x cubed from the top with x to the fourth from the denominator. I will multiply 2 by 2, and I have x in the denominator. It has to be identical, no matter what I do. Nobody's indicated to you which one you want to use. I mean, which one to use. You use the one you like. Good, let's take a look. Okay, that was 76, very good. I like to also look at some of the products or powers of natural log. Anything you like. Or if it is my turn, I will choose um, 89. And then you'll choose the next. So g of x equals natural log of 5x multiplied by natural log of 3x. Okay. Well, obviously this is one function, and this is the second function, and this is the product. I have to use the product rule. So g prime of x. Now this is the chain rule, because it's a, f a natural log of a function. So this is 1 over 5x times the inner function prime, which is 5, times the second function as is, and then plus the first times, you don't need parentheses, but let's put parentheses, the second one prime, which is still 1 over 3x, 1 over the function, times the function prime. Well, these two go away because it's a product. These two go away because it's a product. The least common denominator is x. So all I have to write is natural log 3x plus natural log 5x. Everything else is gone. There is a property that we talked about a few minutes ago. 
Where is it? I lost my properties. Um, I'm looking for the... Yeah, no, no, it's right here. So, if I have a sum of two logs in the same base, I can write that. So, I have then at the top, natural log of 15 x squared divided by x. Do not attempt to simplify x here inside the function with this x. I'm not saying you're going to do it, I'm just, I just needed to say it. Very good pick. Oh, I picked that. Before we look at word problems, let's see if we want to look at anything else. I do 82. 82 it is. Which one? Good. And also I would like to look at 85. So 82 and 85. Okay, I'm going to copy both. So 82 you said uh, g of x e to 2x times natural log x and I also picked um, 85 and is g of x equals natural log x to the fourth power. Perfect. Okay, so let's start with 82. So g prime product first function prime e to 2x times the inner function prime times the second plus the first times the second prime. There's nothing I can do here other than just factor out e to 2x. So then I have 2 natural log x plus 1 over x. I can just leave it alone or you can write 2x natural log plus 1 over x as finding the least common denominator. Same thing. e to 2x, 2x, I have to multiply this by x, natural log x plus 1. Don't forget parentheses. Any questions on this problem before we look at 85? How did you get the x in the denom denominator? The derivative of a natural log is 1 over x. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. Now 85. And we have g of x equals natural log x to the fourth power. So I have a function to the fourth power. How do I differentiate this? I don't know what's in there yet. you multiply the function by the power? We never multiply the function by the power, right? You mean put it down in front? Yeah. OK, right. yes, I agree. So this now to which power? Three. Very good. So I know it's natural log. Now times natural log prime. over x. That's it. So this is 4, natural log x to the third, everything over x. That's it. Can we look at some more problems now? And we can come back to more problems if you want. Oh, we can do a fraction if you want, or um, a natural log of something like this. Or move on. Or find the equation of the tangent line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Find the equation of the tangent line. Let's look at 91. And we have y equals x squared minus x times natural log of 6x at x equals 2. Find the equation of the tangent line to the graph of this function at x equals 2. OK, let's see. So since I'm asked to find the tangent, I need also the y value when x is 2. 
right? Because I'm asked to find the tangent, so I need y minus y1 equals the slope times x minus x1. I have the 2, but I don't have the y, and I also have to determine this. So let's plug in 2. So natural log of 6 times 2 is 12. That's ugly. I'm not going to even put in the calculator. So 2 squared, 4 minus 2. So that's 2. So this is 2, natural log, 12. That's it. That's the y. So this piece is 2, natural log, 12. But now how do I find the slope at this point? This is the point. How do I find the slope? What do I have to find first? Derivative. Yes, thank you very much. So we have to find y prime. Remember, this is the first function and this is the second function. So we differentiate the first one. Can anyone tell us what to write? Two x minus one. Very good. Awesome. Plus, and now I have to copy x squared minus x times. And now I have to differentiate this. How do I write it? Anyone? That 1 over 6s. Times the inner function prime, which is? 6. That's it. These two go away. Thank you very much. So then I have 2x minus 1, natural log 6x, and um, x squared divided by x minus x divided by x. I was able to simplify x squared minus x. I divided x squared by x and negative x by x. Okay. Now I have to evaluate this when x is 2 and y is whatever. Luckily, I don't have to plug in anything else but, but x. There is no y here. Thank goodness. So now I'm on page 8. So y prime when x is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. Natural log 12. Uh, 4 minus, oh, I'm here. So 4 minus, uh, yes, death. And then plus 2 minus 1 plus 1. So this is the slope. So now y minus 2 natural log 12 equals this 3 natural log 12 plus 1 x minus 2 in parentheses. Very ugly, but it is what it is. So, I will distribute and then move this term to the other side. So 3 natural log 12 times x is 3x natural log 12. And this doesn't work anymore. Okay, plus. And actually, I really would like to keep it um, like this and just factor and not distribute to those two terms. So that's the constant in front of x, which is the slope of the line, right? So this times x, but now minus 6 natural log 12 and minus 2. And then I bring plus 2 natural log 12. So finally, the equation of the tangent will be 3 natural log 12 plus 1, the slope x. Here I can combine these two into minus 4 natural log 12, and then minus 2, and there is nothing else I can do. So the equation of the tangent line at the point where x is 2.